Hello. Today we're going to introduce the EduStation Flight Simulator to you and your students. I have launched the prepared flight software by clicking on the P3D icon on the desktop and that's going to open us to your home field in your home aircraft. In this case we're flying a Cessna 172 from LaGuardia. The basic controls from the outside view of the plane are that the elevator when goes up when you pull the yoke out and the elevator goes down when you push the yoke in and that's deflecting the air and pointing the nose up when you pull out and down when you push in. When we roll left and right this is going to move our ailerons on the two wings and that's going to pull wing, one wing tip up and one wing tip down and conversely so we roll left and right and the rudder pedals when we slide them are going to move the rudder and the rudder is going to allow us to steer on the ground and it's also going to allow us to point the nose when we're flying in the yaw position. The way that we move these views around is with the button that changes our camera view and the default view is the cockpit, the outside the plane, spot view from the tower, spot view of the plane. There's a hatch switch on the left side of the yoke and that allows us to move around the camera view wherever we are and the plus sign and the minus sign allow us to zoom in and out. So now we're just going to take a look at our flight instruments. This is our airspeed indicator. You'll notice that there's a green area. That area is where we've overcome weight and gravity by inducing enough lift by accelerating. The directional gyroscope is telling us our compass heading. In this case, we're on runway forward about 40 degrees. Our artificial horizon, you'll, you'll notice, has two orange lines and one orange dot. And when the orange lines are lined up with the white line, we're perfectly level. You'll note that there are black lines above the white and white lines below the white. And these indicate angle of attack of nose up in increments of 5 degrees. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20 degrees nose up, 5, 10, 15, 20 degrees nose down. At the top, there are several lines, and these are indicating our roll angle, 10, 20, 30 degrees, 10, 20, 30 degrees of roll. Our altimeter is telling us our elevation above mean sea level, and so where we are at the moment, we're at about 29 feet above sea level in LaGuardia, but if we were to land in Denver, this would say 5,300 feet, and if we were to land in Mexico City, this would say 7,500 feet. We're measuring our altitude above the ocean. We can zoom out, and what we do is first we go to the outside view of the plane and we validate that we have all of our control surfaces working correctly and then back into the cockpit. I'm going to zoom in so that we could just get a little closer look. This airplane rotates, rotating meaning we take off, at 60 knots and we can fly anywhere within the green. We do not want to put the nose up position any steeper than 20 degrees angle of attack nose up or we'll stall out the wing and we will no longer generate lift. So I'm going to zoom out a little. We have on the throttle quad a black lever which is the throttle, a blue lever which is the propeller pitch. In some aircraft you can adjust the pitch of the propeller. This plane has a fixed pitch propeller and the red lever is our mixture and that allows us to lean out the amount of air that's mixed with the fuel depending upon our altitude. We're going to run it full rich on the takeoff roll. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance the throttle to full power and I'm going to wait until the airspeed indicator gives us uh, 60 knots I'm going to use a little right rudder to maintain our center line. This particular airplane has what's called a left turning tendency. The centrifugal force of the propeller pulls it slightly to the left. So now we've achieved 60 knots. I'm going to gently pull out and maintain a 15 degree nose up angle of attack. 
And as you can see, we are climbing out. And now we have begun to fly. We could at any time look around the aircraft to get a look at ourselves and, uh, and our position. But we generally are going to fly in the, in the cockpit view. A typical takeoff is going to take us to 1,000 feet on the straight climb out, and then you can begin maneuvers after that. I hope this has helped you to understand the basic fundamentals of taking off and understanding the basic flight controls in the EDU station. As always, you can call us at 203-527-5747, and we will be happy to help you in any way that we can. Thank you.